Hey there everyone, my name is Itaish and welcome to the series of building a Stack Overflow clone using AppWrite and Next.js. This whole project is really interesting and will walk you through how to push the things into production so that hundreds and thousands of users can use it and we'll be using everything latest in Next.js and the modern version of the AppWrite for our backend as a service. Now this entire thing is a clone of a Stack Overflow, but it doesn't really mean that it's going to be a UI clone of that. We are not taking any inspiration for the UI. Stack Overflow has served its purpose to hundreds and thousands of users. We don't want to take any inspiration from the UI part, but rather the functionality part so that we can walk you through that how it is possible to build a really scalable and complex application and how to write logics for it and a whole bunch of other things. Now, one thing I would like to remind you early up here is this is not a UI clone project. This is a functionality part, how we can design the complex functionality. Surely the UI is pretty amazing and pretty great, but I don't expect that you are taking this course or this entire playlist uh, just to learn the UI part. We won't be going uh, heavy duty on that, but with that said, let me first walk you through that when I say we are not going heavy duty on that, it is fairly heavy duty. So uh, this is our application that we'll be going through. So this is the river flow, the stack overflow. And yes, it looks fancy. All the things goes up here nicely. Uh, we have this uh, whole thing, uh, which is a nice boilerplate up here. Uh, really looks nice and uh, gives an impact. And behind the scene, you can see there are images and these images are taken up from your questions as well. In the questions, we support that you can upload your images. And as you scroll them up, uh, these gets up here. As you will add more, this will stack up into more of these rows. And you can hover them and move on to any questions and you like. And then further, we have all these latest questions, which looks pretty sleek. And then we have top contributor. In this demo, we have just one user, but surely we can add as many users. And based on the reputation, they will be given up here uh, as the top contributor and all of that. We are doing a complex calculation on the reputation as well. So yes, we'll be doing that part. And uh, then the join now button and everything up here. So there we go. We can see there are questions up here and we are following the exact models that uh, are present in the Stack Overflow. So you can upvote any question, downvote any question, however you want to go, you can just go ahead and work with that. You can add all these PHP and everything just here are a part of Markdown syntax. So yes, that is also being supported. Uh, here you can add images. You might have noticed Stack Overflow has questions. Uh, you can ask questions on top of questions. That's exactly where we are going with that. And there go further, we have the answers as well. This answer part is really nice. Uh, this actually go ahead and support uh, all of the markdown syntax. So test answer. So we can just go ahead and use the lines like that. Uh, this is uh, an answer. There we go. So you can just go ahead and post your answers just like that. So everything uh, that is there in the stack overflow answers can also be downvote or upvote and can be deleted just like that. And we obviously have login and authentication and stack overflow supports uh, sorry, not Stack Overflow. <laughs> the app right supports all the authentication. This is the project that we have built. And the way we are building this project is also interesting. We are not touching much of the app right. We are just taking their API keys and that's it. We are not coming back here and touching. In case you want to add more of these uh, features on the authentication, app right supports everything up here. Did I just saw Notion there? Yeah. So Notion supports Google login and Google log. I, I don't know. Stuff. These open source projects can go a little bit crazy. Like. Who would be using the Notion login, but still it's there. Anyways, so we won't be needing much from this. We won't be creating manual databases uh, by coming up here. No, it's all going to be set up and spin up via our code base. We are not touching anything inside this. We are just using it. And rest of the all the things are actually uh, going up into our code base. We are going through that. And inside this, we have a profiles management up here. We have how many questions are being asked, a reputation, the answers being given. You can see all the questions that you have asked. Uh, you can also see answers or upvotes that you have made. Uh, so all these questions and everything, we are tracking all these things. Uh, not only that, if you go into the questions page, you can go ahead and search for questions. Right now we are deliberately showing just the one of one. So we are only loading one, but you can just go ahead and search for more questions. So we'll work through. This is a fully functional website. So everything that you possibly can do uh, are there. You can even ask questions if you wish. And obviously you will wish on the Stack Overflow. So you can see there are questions and this is a nice markdown editor. You write your code up here or the text up here. It loads up here. You can choose images. You can add tags and all these things uh, goes up there. So this is all the thing that we'll be building uh, with our questions and profile. It, it's, 
it looks really decent, uh, but it's a really, really complex one, uh, the complex project that we'll be building. Now, let me walk you through that what we are doing and how we are doing. For this entire project, we'll be using Next.js, and that is the major advantage. For the backend, we are choosing AppRite, and from the AppRite, we'll be just taking their API keys and we'll be designing our own custom models, we'll be designing our own controllers, APIs, and everything, and that all will be powered by the AppRite, but this is the way how you should be doing things in the production. Of course, it's not possible, and of course, it's doable, but it's not feasible uh, in a big large-scale production app. You go up here and you manually design each of these collections and what data to come up in the collection. So what we'll be doing here is we'll be spinning it up all through the code, and that's possible via the Node app, right? So it works flawlessly in the backend. So we'll be going with that. Now for the state management, we'll be using Zustan. I thought it's a really nice and a tiny library so that we can uh, teach you about the Zustan state management in the next JS. It's going to be pretty lightweight. I'll leave enough room so that you can grow and learn on your own. There are not too many concepts in the Zustan. There is a little bit of the Immer concept, little bit of the hydration concept, and that's it. Uh, we'll be going through with that. And in case you are very much impressed with the UI that we are building, going to be building this one and framer motions and whatnot, uh, no, as I said, uh, no, you should not be watching this video just for the UI part. You should be watching it for the functional part. Anybody can design these UI in the modern world because we are also dependent on the open source libraries. Uh, one of them is Magic UI, which has a lot of components and will be dependent on that. So you can see some of them. And some of them, by the way, on the home page are also there, which we are using. For example, this is the one that we are using for the reputation. You can go ahead and use any one of them. Pretty straightforward, uh, pretty simple. So we have this God circle. So you can go ahead and have the God circle, interactive cloud icons, uh, something like that. So yes, it's pretty standard, pretty going through with this, that how we are using. So in case you are here just to see that how these UIs are being designed, hey, go ahead, you can do this on your own. You don't need to watch me for that. And another library which we are a little bit dependent on is a certainty UI. Uh, again, a great UI library just like the magic UI and we'll be dependent on that. We'll be just bringing in the component from here and we'll be copy pasting that. So there is nothing much. Uh, we'll be using a little bit of the confetti as well. As soon as the user posts a question, we'll be showering up some of the confetti. It looks good and we'll teach you a little bit about how to use a third party package. It's a pretty popular one. If you look at this one, it's a pretty decently popular package, but it's just all fun that we'll be using through. Apart from this, this cloud we'll be using and we'll be using a little bit of the markdown editor. So this is going to be our markdown editor of the choice. There are plethora of them available in the market, but this is our choice uh, for this one. Uh, so time to time, I'll be walking you through that how we are designing, what we are designing, and the how a flow should be. Now the best part about this entire series is going to be how repeatable this is. Once you understand the concept of uh, building this Stack Overflow clone, because there is so much moving parts into this one, posting questions, then comments, then upwards. Upwards can happen on the question, uh, on the answers as well, and a whole lot of other places upwards can happen. So this will teach you how to design a really complex uh, database within uh, by using the app right and can write your own controllers and functionality with the help of app right. So I think after watching this, you can pretty much uh, nail down any project, any freelancing work that you have. We're using the latest of the Next.js. In case Next.js updates or something, it's not going to bother us. We'll be focusing so much on the foundational part of that. Zustand is a pretty much nice library, but feel free to inject any other if you wish to have. But it's going to be a pretty fun project that we'll so that's the brief overview of what we are building, how we are building, and what should be your mindset about it. So that's it. That's pretty much it. Uh, from the next video onwards, the videos are going to be decently long enough. And uh, uh, from the next video onwards, we'll set up our projects, we'll set up our uh, AppRite, pro AppRite project, and uh, we'll walk you through all the details of that. So that's it for this one. Let's catch up in the next video.